Welcome to this EMIS video. Today we are editing the details for staff and I'm using the demo school. When you are logging into your school, you will of course see your school name appear over here for your staff. Institution staff, you click on staff. Clicking on staff would give you the list of staff. Now these, ex these examples would be the same process for editing students. I would like to edit my first staff here, Kellyanne. So I would go to edit or I will go to view. In fact, I would prefer to use view at this time so that you would be able to see all the menus that are associated with staff. You may not see all in your, your um, view at this time because I've hidden some to keep the lesson simple. However, there is a general, sub-menu, career, professional, development, finance, training and health. All this data is particular to that staff. So here, Kelly and this, all these tabs, all this menu, items here are linked to her so at the first stage we look at the general information here is the overview kelly and john female the date of birth we have our account we have our identities and identities if i click here we could put multiple identities and that's where you want to click the add button to add a new one or if i already placed some data you want to click the select button and edit I am now editing the NIS number for Kelly and John, which is not 151505, but it's 151505. And I say um, any comment that I want to put Grenada NIS, and I say OK. For the expiry date on the NIS, as you know, expiry date on the NIS is not something that we, we really need. So I would advise that you put something like 2099. issue by creator so this we successfully did we added an nis when you click on the tab once again this tab right here you would notice that we have our nis number we also have our unique id and we could put in passport by simply our, our driver's license by clicking the add button picking one of those creator driver's permit put that number in there the issue date that's when the ID is issued and when the ID expires and we could say police force or traffic department and we click save so that's a third ID that I'm adding onto that one that one user or one member in the system Kelly and John so one to three the same activity goes for contact you quickly jump across to contact and here you click add you select which type of contact for example email you select the description of the email whether it's personal it's a work email in some case let's say work email and it might be k.john at moe.gd that's a work email and we click save so there are multiple contacts you put in all right and then just in case you have any scan documents such as the uh, birth certificate job letters but for Kelly and you click you click here you add in those documents you let just see what certificate okay say so scan copy of what paper and we pick this up from our desktop now this file has to be at least um has to be very small to two makes I'll just take a I'll just take an image for now and the date on the file the birth certificate may have been um let's say she had it first of 12 2002 so it's a whole birth certificate and you click see and so that's a copy of the birth certificate save here and then we you could add many files here on that specific feature so that's how to add data by editing on teachers if you want to add on the carry or on the carry would be very important to also look at it's the same procedure here we have the employment history which is being entered by the ministry of education we also have position data class subject all these things will be populated then our professional development would take care of our qualification so all the cxe a level gc university degree you click add here and you follow along with the screen the appropriate screen move from one to the next so I have a list of different things that could be added. Of course, you could upload the file. The file size should not be larger than two megabytes. If you have problems in converting size, I'll be more than happy to help you. 
reduce them. Thank you.